हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू केमिजॉन कंप्लीट केमिस्ट्री तो दिस इज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन केमिस्ट्री पेपर बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ अल्फा एंड बीटा पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम न्यूक्लियर केमिस्ट्री सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वट इज अ क्वेश्चन टोटल नंबर ऑफ अल्फा एंड बीटा पार्टिकल्स एमिटेड इन रेडियो एक्टिव डी के इज तो यूरानियम दिस इज अ रिएक्शन दैट इज गिवन यूरानियम टू थर्टी decays to form uran lead that is pb with atomic mass 210 and atomic number 82 so first let us understand what is an alpha particle the okay, alpha particle is nothing but a helium nuclei atomic number is 2 mass is 4 and what is a beta particle beta particle is electron how do you represent an electron atomic मास इज जीरो एटॉमिक नंबर इज माइनस वन ओके चार्ज इज माइनस वन तो लेट एस टेक एन अनोन एलिमेंट एक्स एटॉमिक मास इज ए एटॉमिक नंबर इज जेड सपोज आई रिमूव ए बीटा पार्टिकल ई माइनस वन जीरो तो वॉट वी विल गेट ए माइनस जीरो इज ए एंड जेड माइनस ऑफ माइनस वन विल बिकम हाउ मच माइनस इन टू माइनस इज माइन प्लस So Z plus one. So what happens when we remove a beta particle? Atomic number, atomic number Z increases by one unit, and atomic mass is same. Okay. Similarly, let us see what happens when we remove a alpha particle. Yeah, again, I take an element X. Atomic mass is A. Atomic number is Z minus helium nuclei, that is alpha particle. Atomic number two. Atomic mass is four. So A minus four, okay, and Z minus two. So what happens? The atomic mass number decreases by four unit. Atomic number decreases by two units. So first, what we can do? You can see that the atomic mass. changes only when alpha particle is released so from the change in the atomic mass what we can find out we can find out the number of alpha particles that are removed or lost okay how do you find out for one alpha particle the atomic mass decreases by 4 units okay so for what we can do we can first find out the difference that is 238 minus 210 okay this will give us the total difference For one alpha particle, it decreases by four units. So what we will do? We'll divide by four. Okay. So two thirty-eight minus two ten is twenty-eight. Divide by four is seven. So seven alpha particles are lost. What we can do? We can now write down the equation two thirty-eight ninety-two. First, I'm removing how many alpha particles? Seven alpha particle is helium nuclei. Okay. What I will get? Two thirty-eight minus seven four is twenty-eight. So two thirty-eight minus twenty-eight, I get eight minus eight zero. Three minus two one. Two minus two. Two minus zero is two. So two hundred and ten. So you can see we have got the atomic mass that is given. Okay, two hundred and ten. I don't know the element, so I, I will write it as x. And ninety-two minus seven two is fourteen. Ninety-two minus fourteen that will be eight. Twelve, twelve minus four is eight. Seven minus one, eight minus one is seven. So seventy-eight is the atomic. Seventy-eight is the atomic number. This was for the alpha particle. Now we have to also find out the number of beta particles. Now for beta particle, you can see the only the atomic number increases by one unit. Okay, so here you can see what is the final element. We will write that lead two hundred and ten. And atomic number is eighty-two. So you can see seventy-eight plus how much will give me eighty-two? That will be the number of alpha. That will be the number of beta particles. For one beta particle, the atomic mass is increased by one unit. Atomic number is increased by one unit. So here it is increased by four units, right? So there are how many beta particles? Four beta particles. Seven alpha and four beta. What is the question? Total number of alpha and beta particles. So we have to add all of both of them. Seven plus four is how much? Eleven. Okay. So the correct answer for the question is what? It is eleven. Okay. So the correct answer for this it is eleven. 
one one eleven. Okay, you you if you see the range of this question, it is given eleven to eleven. Okay, if you insert any other number, you will not get the credit. Okay, the correct answer is what? Correct answer is eleven. Okay, if you insert twelve, you will not get the credit. If you insert ten, then also you will not get the credit. You have to write only eleven. I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you.